arrows that I use for uh, hunting deer. Uh, it's about 22 inches long and it's got a broad head that screws in the end of it. You got to be real real careful with them because they are razor sharp and they will lace you open. This is a warrior crossbow. Uh, I think it's a 160 pound pole and it's got a True Glow scope on it, which is uh, 10 yards up to 40 yards. And that's about all I can tell you about the bow. You set it down, reach down, grab the string, pull back to it, clips. The arrow goes in like so. The off feather down, and it's ready to shoot. Excuse me. When you're ready to fire, got a safety switch right here. Push it off, and you're ready to fire. And that's how you do it. Never get on a four wheeler and we head out for the hunt. This is a, an old uh, stand that uh, I've had here for three or five years. I don't use it. It's uh, so hard to judge a distance for when you're shooting down on your animal. Plus there's more obstacles in your road. And I might use it for a rifle but not for a bow anymore. Yeah, there's a yellow jacket's nest right th down there in the ground. Okay, this is a uh... This is a very good setting here. Uh, I got the glass on my right, glass on my left, uh, in the front of me, and this is a very good, very good deer crossing, and that's the reason why I set this shed here.
I can't believe I couldn't have missed him. I'm going to go see, where, see if I did hit him. Keep it standing here. There it is. Yep, he's hit. There's the blood. I know, he's hit. Now I'm going to find him. These leaves are collared. I hope we can find the blood. There it is. There's the blood on the leaf. Yeah, right there. Good hit. That's good. Now we can find. We'll keep after him. We'll get him. We're on the right track. Yeah. We're going. There he goes. There's another spot. Yep, yep, nowhere to go. Okay. Yep. There he is, right there. Yep, good hit on him. That's a real good hit. Waiting. And I was looking all the way around, and almost here he come in, and come into the bait pile, and turned broadside to me, and I thought, well, now's the time to take him if I'm going to take him, and I shot, and he let out like I didn't even touch him. So I got up and went out and checked my arrow, to see if I could find it. Found my arrow and seen it was blood all over it, so I knew we had a hit. Then I had to go looking for him in. So we, he run about, I don't know, 75 yards up through the woods. And, and there he is, right there. Uh, that made my day, getting this steer and put the food on the table. And now I gotta drag him out of here to the four wheeler so we can haul him in. This is a, uh, rib cage or of the deer the arrow went in right here and it came out over here which you can see a pretty good size hole and I already it's called a back strap I've already taken it out of the out of the deer and on the inside here right up here you have a I call it a sweet meat, but it's a tenderloin, and that's the best part of the deer. We'll probably end up um, making some steaks out of out of the hind quarters or or out of the front quarters. Uh, we might make some steaks out of it. Might make a roast out of it. Get some. We we'll get at least two roasts out of it, anyhow, and. Uh, then if we get another one this year, we will probably make deer bologna out of it, which uh, the kids all like the deer bologna. Good. This deer here probably provide about, oh, I don't know, 35, 40 pounds of meat that's, you know, eat, that you can eat. Oh, yes, yeah, you save a, you know, if you had to go to the store and buy that roast, you're going to spend six or eight dollars for just a little roast. So, every little bit helps in the winter time. Oh. So, Norma, what's in the refrigerator? Dead deer. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs>
they bagged another deer? Yep. How does that make you feel? Sad. Yep, but there sets his little head. <laughs> and um, so you, um, I mean, but that's food for the table, right? Not my table. I eat. Do you cook it for Dave? Nope. nope. You, you don't even cook for him? Not that. No. He will. He'll send it away. It's deer baloney. What about other critters like the squirrels and rabbits and stuff? No. Uh -uh. How long have you been living up here in the country? 30 years, more. So every time he goes hunting and catch deer, you just don't agree with it, huh? It's, it's sad. <laughs> I just don't like to see him die. Well, nobody likes to see him die, but if you had a farm and, and you need to stock up your freezer, you'd go out and butcher a cow, well, I'd right? I'd eat him if I have to. Yeah. yeah. There ain't nothing else. And I don't agree with it, but... That's what these people do up here. Eat that. So what are you going to do, Joe? It's just food for the table, Norma. Food for the butler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Norma. Thanks a lot. How was that, Joe? That was wonderful. <laughs>